Hi everyone, it's Mari here. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have a fun art journal project today using a bunch of Art by Marlene products. I'm using some five by seven paper that fits perfectly into the handy size journal from Art by Marlene. I'm gonna, just gonna show you a couple of pages I've already created for this journal. I love this size so much. It is a lot of fun to create with. And I am going to be using my gel plate today. And of course, I'm going to be using my XXL Golden Oldies Collector's Pad. I'm also going to be using this gorgeous stencil. This is called Lotus Mandala. And I'm also going to be using some paints. This is the wine. This is um, clotted cream. This one is Breeze. Then I also have Mud Fight and olive and desert. These are brand new colors uh, in the latest release of new colors from Art by Marlene. Um, I'm not gonna use every one of those colors, but I wanted to show you all six of those new colors in the Art by Marlene acrylic collection. And I am using my gel press here. You can see I have that on my table and I have started off with a little bit of the wine. And this is the desert color. I'm going to blend those two colors together. And what I discovered, this is my first time working with the Art by Marlene uh, paints. And what I discovered is these paints dry really fast. So you have to work a little bit more quickly, I find, or use more paint. And you'll see me just working through that process here on my gel plate today. So I am using my Ranger brayer here, and I'm just going to go through and brayer that wine paint first. I discover I don't have nearly enough paint on my gel press, which is really rare for me. I usually have more than enough. So I do have a piece of scrap paper off to the left, and I'm going to just brayer off on that anytime I need to. You'll see me doing that during the process. But here I just didn't have enough of that wine paint on my, my gel press at all. So I put a little bit more on. You'll just see me here spreading that out. My brayer is picking up some of that wine paint, but that's fine. And I definitely wanted to work into that desert color a little bit as well. Now I'm just going to take the most of the wine off of my brayer. Now you'll see that it's going to pick up that that wine color. So just going to struggle a little bit here working with how much paint I need and and that kind of thing on my press. And now I've just put a little bit more of that desert color down. You can see that my brayer is picking up that wine. So I'm just going to brayer that. Um, I, that wine paint is just going to actually dry before I get a chance to really um, pick it up with my press. So I'm just kind of having fun experimenting, trying to sort out how much paint I need with this particular brand. I'm just cleaning my brayer off there. And now I'm just gonna go into that really pretty color there. That is the breeze. And I am just gonna get a really light amount on there. So I'm gonna put some more on and just work with that. And definitely finding that I'll need to clean my brayer off on my scrap paper less than with some other brands of paint. And here you can just see I've got a nice amount on there now I'm going to do my first pull. So I'm just going to move my paper over there and just press it down and get a nice amount. I didn't really, it didn't matter to me what um, color is on the top or bottom so I can just flip this paper over and the holes will still be on the left there. But you can just see that's going to pull up some of the wine color but a lot of that wine was already dry. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more of that wine to the bottom. So just going to add that to my press again down in that bottom area and then I'll pick that up. And I will anything that's left on the gel press I'll grab that off of the press later with another pull and you'll see that as the process continues. So I'll just get brayer a little bit of that wine on there. I love this color. It is so pretty. It's just really, really beautiful. And I'm going to brayer just a little bit of it off because it's pretty strong. I've got quite a bit of it on there. I don't want it to be so bold at the bottom. So I'll just take a little bit off and I mostly just want it at the very bottom of my paper. So I picked a little bit up with the brayer and rared it off on my scrap paper there over to the left and now I'm just pushing this into my press and rubbing it with my hands so that I pick up most of that and I love that that's gorgeous so that's just really fun 
gives me some really nice texture on my back background and this is the little girl that I took out of the collector's book the XXL punch out book that I showed you at the beginning and so I'm kind of trying to put colors on my project that are going to coordinate with that girl that I'm going to be using on my project here so now I'm just going to brayer a little bit of the mud fight on here and I'm going to brayer that off now I'm, what I'm going to do is put that gorgeous Lotus Mandala stencil from Art by Marlene and Studio Light. This is a little bit of deli paper and I'm just pressing the deli paper into the openings of the mandala stencil. So I'm just going to pick those little areas up and then that's going to leave a ghost print on my gel plate. So I'm just going to work that in. I love the gel or the deli paper in that way. Like it's just nice and light and allows you to get your fingers in all those little crevices. And now I'm going to pick that ghost print up and I'm going to pr pick it up where the wine color is on my print so far. And that's just going to leave that really cool pattern on the bottom part. And I love that. I think that's so cool. And it just has just this really fun look to it so far. Now I really love this Pac-Man stencil also from Art by Marlene. Really neat and so I wanted to do some work with that as well. So I'm just going to reach for the olive this time and I'm going to put that down at the bottom. I'm just kind of avoiding that area at the top. I'll do a final pull at the end and pick that wine wine um, paint off that's at the very top there. So I'm just going to work this olive across. I'm just using a really light hand with my brayer, just kind of lifting as I go a little bit and just getting a nice amount on there. Now again, I'll put that Pac-Man stencil on. Again, I'll get that deli paper rub the, the uh, deli paper into the openings on the stencil and that's going to leave a ghost print on my gel press again. So I'm just going to press into those little areas, get a little bit on there and you can just keep adding to this deli paper and use the deli paper later for collage once you've got a bunch of different impressions of different mediums on there. And it's a good way to use the, the deli paper, the little bits that you get on that during your printmaking sessions. Now you can see that there's a ghost print on there. I'm going to add that to the top of my paper. So I'll just put my print back on there, rub gently on there. And I love that. That's really cool. So now I have some nice texture at the top and some nice texture at the bottom. So really loving how that's looking so far. Now what I'm going to do is add some white paint. This is just some Liquitex Basics white. And I'm going to just spread that onto the entire gel press here. And I'm going to get a final print here just with another paper. So I'll grab another piece of blank paper and get another print just from the remnants of what's left on my gel press. So here you can see I've got plenty on there. So I'm just going to brayer a little bit of it off over to the side and I'll just continue that process until I have just a nice thin layer of that white paint. And then that white paint is actually going to allow me to pick up all of the little goodies that are dry on my press. So I'm just going to go one more time here, maybe another one and just get the excess paint off of there. And now it's just going to be just a really light faded bit of white paint in the background. And I'll pick up that print here with this paper. You can just see how I'm just pressing down on the whole surface here. I don't want to leave it on there too long because it will actually rip the paper. The paper will stick to the gel press. So you just have to make sure that you just do this enough so that you know that everything's adhered to your paper. And you can do a little bit of a test just by kind of lifting the corner and testing to see if it's going to lift at this point, see if it's going to lift all of the, the paint off of your press and everything that you want to get off of there. So it's really, it's sticking. So I know that it's, it's good to go. And I'll just hold the press down while I lift that print off. And there's another really great print. So I love that. I'll set that aside for another project. Now this is a product from Art by Marlene. This is a DIY journal kit. It comes with a whole bunch of different parts to it. There's six dies in here. There's some ribbon. There's some binding rings. There's some cardstock. There's some reinforcements. It's a really great little kit. And 
I used one of the dies in that kit and a piece of patterned paper that's in the XXL collector's book to die cut a piece of paper for my project here. So you can just see that's the back of it and then it's really colorful on the other side. So you could use either side, I think that's neat. I'm gonna use the colorful side on my project here. And I'm going to use that just as a spot for my girl to sit. And I try it both ways. I'm like, oh, maybe I like it with the, the whiter side, but I actually feel like I liked the more colorful side more. I've also got another little die cut piece from the collector's book down at the bottom there, that striped piece. That's just going to be sort of like a little base for or a little shelf for the girl to sit on. And now I'm just going to use a little bit of the, I think this is the clotted cream. And this stencil is called Vibrant Flowers. I love it so much. And I'm just going to take a foam dauber and I'm going to add this, that acrylic paint with the foam dauber through the stencil. And this is just going to add some really nice pattern in a light color to the entire project and I love how this looks so that the little um, bits of texture from the gel printing are just gonna be popping out around these beautiful floral pieces. I love how this turns out when I'm finished here. Now I did use, like I said, I used that, that paint from Art by Marlene, but I found that it was a little bit not, it, it wasn't light enough, it wasn't um, sort of bright enough. So I actually went over it off camera with the white paint, the, the titanium white that I showed you that I used for that second print, for taking that second print off my gel plate. So here you can just see I'm just dabbing the ink, or uh, sorry, the paint over the stencil. I don't have a ton of paint on my little dabber, just enough so that it will you know, nicely go into those different areas, the open areas of the stencil, but I don't want it to bleed under. So just a little bit of paint, a little dab of paint will do. And here you can just see how pretty that is. And like I said, I did go over that as well with the white. Now this stamp is Stamp 131 from Art by Marlene Essentials. I love this stamp set. It is really cool. It has so many fun little stamps for making marks on your projects. And there's also some little sentiments uh, in that as well, some little phrases. Now I'm using some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink and I'm going to just make a few marks around the edge of my project. I love the pattern of this. It is so cool. And you'll just see I stamp off the edge a little bit just to create a little bit of black. And I love that really bold black around the edge of my project. I just think it looks very stunning and I love it. Now I don't end up inking up my stamp at all, again, a second time. I'm just gonna use the rest of the ink that's on there as much as I can. There's still even more on the stamp. I could have stamped more, but I just did it in those three areas. Now I'm also going to use another one of the stamps from that stamp set. It's one of those little sort of bullseye stamps, and I think there's three sizes of those in the set. And I'm gonna use one of those in the center of each one of my flowers. And again, I'm just using that VersaFine Claire Nocturne black ink. And I love this ink because it's waterproof. So once it dries, if I wanted to go over top of this with any other medium, it won't move or disturb that ink. This is such a cool stamp. I love this one as well. It's also from this same set. And I'm going to use that just to add a little bit of text and pattern in those same areas where I have that black diamond pattern on the edges. I'm just gonna go over that area as well, just to add a little bit more interest. This, like I said, has a little bit of scripty text and kind of like a little ovally, scripty, circle-y shape around it. And I love that. So now that that's all dry, I'm ready to start to add my little die cut pieces to my journal page. And I'm just kind of going to get a little idea of where I want to place things and which one of the pieces I want to use. I had punched out a bunch of pieces. Um, I wasn't sure which ones I wanted. So now I'm just going to kind of play with the placement and see where I want everything to go. I love the little birds and the cats and like all of the different shapes and motifs that are in that XXL collector's book, the Golden Oldie book. If you don't have that and you like the looks of these, it's really perfect, you need to get it because it's amazing. I'm, I think it's still available. I think you can still find it in different shops. 
I will try to link up to it in the description box below. If you do find that it's some shops have it, but it's not in stock, but there's a notify me button, make sure you click, uh, click that notify me button and leave your email because that's a really great way to get products that are out of stock. And I think in these times where uh, manufacturers are having a little bit of struggles with um, with getting things and, and that kind of thing, um, it's always great to use that notify me button and you will be notified when things come back in stock. So I just love the these little different little elements. They go really nicely with the different colors of paint that I've chosen and the sweet little girl. So again, just kind of trying to decide which pieces I want to use here. I really love that cat, but the colors just weren't quite right. Um, I also like that bird that has legs, but then there's this little bird here that doesn't have little legs attached that I also thought was really cute. And I love that it's green and it also has that purpley pink heart for its wing. And I just thought that was perfect for this project and the layout that I'm going for here with my journal. What I really love about these journal pages is you can totally use the entire back of the page to write some sort of message or um, anything, whatever you want to use your journal for, which I really love that about this size and this type of journaling. Um, and that's definitely what I do with my art journal. Now that is the Studio Light Tacky Glue. And I really wanted to use a liquid adhesive to tack this down to my page because there's a lot of different products on my art journal page at this point. So I'm going to just tack that down with a little bit of that tacky glue. And I wanted to give the page a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to pop my girl up on a little bit of foam adhesive here. So I'll just add that foam adhesive to her and grab the release paper off the back and go ahead and add her on there. I really love how that looks. I think she's adorable. And I love how right around the edges of her top and her shoulders, there's a little message. It says, I speak my dreams into existence. I will not give up ever. I love that. And then of course, when you're, when you're journaling for your art journal page, you can definitely use those little prompts that are in the pieces for whatever it is that you want to journal about. So oftentimes when I know that I want to journal about something specific, I'll look for a piece that is going to kind of, you know, go along with that journaling. And I loved the quote that was on this girl. I love the art by Marlene quotes and her sticky quotes are just fantastic. Um, they're so good. So yeah, it all just works really well together and super, super fun to, to create with. So I've got a little bit of foam adhesive on this little piece as well. And like I said, that just gives a little spot for her to just to kind of ground her on the project. And then the little bird can go just there in the corner. I wanted to make sure that the bird didn't cover up any of that little quote that's on the girl and around her. So I'm just being mindful of that when I'm placing it so that it doesn't cover up any of that text. And then I'll just place this little um, star and the floral up top. I love those pieces as well. And just gonna add those with a little bit of foam adhesive too. And you'll notice that I often add a little bit of the tacky glue to the foam adhesive as well, just to make sure that it really adheres well to all of those different mediums that are on the page. So love that. It's just so sweet, really, really cute. And what I also really enjoy about that collector's golden oldie book, the cutout book, is that there's a lot of different colors that you can include in your spreads um, that are represented in those die cuts. So depending on what you want to work with for color, and that's really, that was the, the color inspiration for my project today. Um, I chose the girl that I wanted to use, and then I chose the, the colors for the paints that I was going to use in my project. So that wine color and the greens all kind of go nicely with um, the girl that I'm featuring here in my journal. So I've got that all stuck down now. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I wanted to add this little bit of foliage in behind her as well, and another little flower. So just adding a little bit more detail. And there are thousands, well, I don't know, I feel like there's thousands, hundreds for sure. It probably actually says in the book, let me see. I'm gonna look at the packaging here and see if it actually says how many pieces 
are in the Golden Oldies book. Um, 1,000 plus die cut papers. So yeah, it's there's so many pieces in there. So I like to use as many as I can within reason on these projects uh, because I know I have that whole book to use. Now I am going to add some white spotter, which I love to do. And this is Dina Wakely Gloss Spray in white. And I love this stuff. It is so fantastic to work with and it adds really nice dimensional white splatter on your project. So I'm just sticking my brush right into the bottle and splattering that on. And I am working on a silicone mat, so it's not going to be difficult to clean this up when I'm done. And I'll set that aside to dry. And now that's all finished. And I wanted to use one of the sticky quotes from Art by Marlene for this project. This is from The Essentials. And there's tons of quotes in this book, um, lots of different options. And I'm going to add this onto my project with a little bit of foam adhesive here. So these are some foam adhesive strips. And this is a great way to add a quote strip like this with some dimension onto your project. So it's a little bit too long. I will trim that off here with my scissors. And then I can go ahead and adhere that on. And the quote that I chose says, find your inner peace. I thought that goes nicely with the girl and uh, goes nicely with the quote that's around the edges of her top and her shoulders. And so I'm going to adhere that on with my, my tweezers here. I love how the black just pops off of the page as well. You really notice that on the, on the project. And I love how this looks and it looks really nice with the other three spreads that I have in my book so far. And I just think it's super cute. It came together really fast. And I love working with the Art by Marlene products. They're so much fun. And I have linked up to as many of the different products in the description box below that I could find that are available out there. So make sure you check the links in the description box. I will also leave a coupon code for you in the description as well. And I hope you enjoyed that. this. Please make sure that you leave me a comment. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And I just really enjoyed this process today. I think it was so much fun. I, I do still have to add a little bit of journaling on the back of the page. You can see that I've done that on the other two pages that I have in my book so far. And that's it for me today, friends. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you here again soon. And have an amazing day. Stay safe, take care, and bye-bye. Mm -hmm.